It's hot. Like, it's been... Listen, we've only doubled. I want to fuck you the minute I saw you. I also really appreciated the polyamorous... Polyamorous relationship. Polyamory. <laughs> Polyamor... Okay. Everyone. Um... Holy sh... <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today it is time, it is time for episode two of Booktube Twin Test. So if you don't know, this is a series where I've asked you guys on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, which booktubers you think I have the most similar reading taste to. I pick one of them and I ask them for three books that they loved that they think I'm gonna love as well. And I'm gonna read them and we're gonna have a leaderboard throughout this series to see who is my booktube twin. Episode one, Kayla got 13 points. I had a five star, a five star and a three star. So whoever's on it from now on has to beat 13 to become my booktube twin. The person, in this episode is the second most popular recommendation that you guys had. I'm not gonna always go in like popularity order, but I wanted to do this book to you and X. You know what it is, you saw in the title, Riley Marie. Riley works because we are also twins. <laughs> You're what? I'm you. People confuse us all the time. I never saw it before I had my channel. I used to watch Riley all the time, like before I had my channel, and I never saw it. But once I started my channel, people started saying it to me. I was like, oh my God, we do. But over 25 of you. Over 25 of you said that me and Riley are booktube twins. I do think that me and Riley have similar reading tastes. We both love The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter by Theodora Goss. We we love this series so much. I feel like maybe she'll give me like a mystery with Victorian elements if I had to guess of what she's gonna give me because she knows that's something we both like. So Riley has sent me a video and we're gonna watch it together and we're gonna find out what I'm gonna be reading in this video. Hi Megan, so I'm very Hello. honored that you have chosen me to select books for you Aww. to see if we are booktube twins. Even though according to a lot of people, we already are twins, but this is about <laughs> book twins. I have selected three mm -hmm. books for you that I think you're gonna like. I had to sort of oh dig God, deep for up. these recommendations because you already have read a lot of my all-time favorite books and really loved them. And I feel like that gives me a little bit of confidence to just kind of choose whatever I want for you. All of these books oh my that God. I, through, I gave five stars. And this first pick, I feel like I'm the most confident about this one because as soon as I finished reading it, I thought this is definitely a book that Megan would like. It has a lot of elements from okay. some of your favorite books. It's a thriller. It's dark academia. Oh. There's a morally gray main character. There's twists and turns. And so that book is They oh. Never Learn by Lane Fargo. <gasps> this has a very addictive okay. plot, a questionable okay. main character who you really root for, and it's also sapphic. So I'm very oh. hopeful that you will enjoy this one. The next book that I've selected okay. is okay. probably okay. my favorite book that I've read this year, and I am determined <gasps> to get as many people to read this as possible. And that book is A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. This book probably has some of the most beautiful and lyrical writing that I've ever read. Oh it's told in letters, it's gothic, it's haunting, so excited. it's beautiful. Okay, this yeah. was a book that as soon as I finished it, I immediately wanted to pick it up and reread it just to experience it all over again. So I really, really hope that you enjoy this one, even a fraction of the amount that I did. And then my final choice for I'm you. I'm so excited when the scar is like falling in my you eyes. A disservice. <laughs> if I didn't pick a romance book, since that is what I am known for. However, I do know that you Ready? are very new to romance. You haven't read a lot, so I wanted to go easy on you. Oh as much God. as I would love to what? pick like a wild and crazy romance, just so I can see your reactions, I want you to actually enjoy this book. <laughs> so oh I've kind God. of gone with a safe bet, and that is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Tom okay. Everett. I okay. think okay. that you have read okay. Get a Life, okay. Chloe Brown, and enjoyed it. Yeah. So I feel like yeah. this is just the next step. But this is definitely one of my favorite romances, and I 
just can't wait to see what you think of it. So there you have it. The three books Ooh. that I have selected for okay. you. And I feel like these are a good representation of my reading and a great okay. test to see if we're actually booktube twins. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> Riley has picked well there because they never learn and a dowry of Blood? Is that what it's called? I can't remember. They are both books that I had on my like want to read on my wish list because of her. Because of her. So they, they're both books that I have been very interested in reading. So I'm so excited that we're going to get them in this video. So I have to go buy them. But I do already own Take a Hint Denny Brown. I did read Get a Life Chloe Brown. I think I gave it four stars. So I enjoyed it. We've got potential here. And I've heard a lot of people say this is their favourite of the Brown sisters. I can't believe Riley put a romance on here. I feel like Riley just understood our, our, our tastes are the same bar the romances. <laughs> How could you do this to me? Question mark. I'm nervous, but we're gonna start with this because this is what I own and it will take a couple days for me to get my hands on the next two. So we're gonna start with this. And do you know what? I feel like this is what I need right now because I haven't read for a week. I'm hoping I'm gonna love it. Imagine if this is five stars. I will gag, I will gag, but I'm not expecting that going into it. So we'll see. Hey, Laura. She says, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. How far in am I? About 155 pages into Take a Hint, Danny Brown. So I'm nearing halfway. I did want to be halfway when I spoke to you, but a bitch got to go have a bath. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I don't know if it feels like a five star, at the moment it feels like a four star, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, Tully Hibbert can fucking write romance. So we're following Danny Brown, who's the second Brown sister in this romance series, and she is very much like, no commitment, I just wanna fuck, I don't want a relationship. But she starts to fall for the security guard at her work, and he is very much this hopeless romantic. And one thing leads to another, and they basically end up in this situation where they're in this fake relationship they're fake dating for the publicity that it brings his charity work and stuff he wants to get her to a place where she'll have a relationship with him and she wants to get him to a place where he'll do away with his idea of relationships and they'll just have sex and it's really funny like their kind of dynamics is really funny it's hot like it's been listen we've only doubled Man, i want to fuck you the minute i saw you oh, i'm okay, sorry great, i don't mean this to feel so like that but yeah he is hot he is fine okay, i do want some of that there's a scene that we're being teased with I feel like it's gonna be like 50 pages away but like it should just happen right now I just need it right now I just need it to happen I just need it I just need it to happen I am currently suffering my whole family from fumes <laughs> Me and Tom, my boyfriend, have been making all of the exclusive books, little like clay books for my patrons. Those are my, <laughs> those are my Rora dear. We've been making them for the past two days. It's taken us two days to make about like 20 people's pairs, 20 people's books. Like it's, it's a lot more time consuming than I thought it would be. But it's also like, it's like poisoning me and my family. <laughs> We've all got headaches from the fumes that we, because we've got to cook it in the oven, basically, the material we use. And so I'm still managing to read this book, even when I literally can't do anything else. Like, my brain literally can't handle anything else right now. My face muscles are actually, like, seizing up. But I can read this book. Like, that's how readable and enjoyable it is. Tally Hibbert's, like, characters, relationships are so much fun. I think they're just great. I think she really can write these relationships so, so well. So I am absolutely loving it. Again, it just doesn't feel like a five star because I don't know if I'm ever going to give romance five star. Like, I don't know. Maybe I will feel like that towards the end. I don't know. I feel like part of a five star for me is a certain kind of, like, dramatic criticism and like experience and like over the topness or like aura about it that I feel like romances often don't have because that's not what they're here to do so I feel like that's what stops me giving it five star but I could eat my words so I'm gonna go finish it I have finished. <laughs> I finished Take a Hint Danny Brown. I did enjoy this a lot, 
but I don't think I enjoyed it as much as Get a Life Chloe Brown, the first in the series. So I think I'm going to give this a 3.5 star now. Uh, you guys go drag me for this, huh? Okay. I don't know if that's harsh. I'm going to round up to a 4 on Goodreads. It does feel like a 3.75, but I think for the purposes of this video and for my like tracking, I am going to give it a 3.5. I really enjoyed it. I think it was hotter than Get A Life Chloe Brown. Like I much more preferred the sex scenes. They were like hot. They were hot as fuck. But the kind of parts around it, although I very much enjoyed the fake dating trip at the start, I just got a bit bored in the more like storyline-y aspects of it towards the end. But Tally Hibbert is my favourite romance author. Like at the moment of what I've read, <laughs> my very limited experience of romance, Tally Hibbert is my favourite. So I did enjoy it. 3.5 is not a bad rating, especially for me when it comes to romance. I don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to give a romance a five star. Like I just kind of don't see that for me. I kind of just don't see it. But it's sexy and it's funny and it's smart and it's cool. And I like all like the kind of British, you know, it feels very British, like all the British references in it. So I did really enjoy it. But it's a 3.5, if that makes sense. You've been very, very arsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Very arsh. Yeah, I really liked Zaf. I really liked their relationship. I just got a bit bored towards the end and I was like, can we hurry up a bit, please? Do you know what I mean? I feel like it could have been 300 pages rather than 380 pages. The other two books for this video have now arrived. I'm very excited. So we've got A Diary of Blood and They Never Learn. I think I'm going to read A Diary of Blood next. Quickly, I want to show you because you saw me painting them in, <laughs> in the last clip. But so if you don't know, in my Patreon, the Rora tier, the top tier patrons get some of the TBR Cluedo books sent to them. And I've currently got 12 Rora tier patrons. We've made 18 pairs of these books. So I've got six pairs and then we've got to make loads again. <laughs> I thought I would show you because they are basically numbered. So each patron will get the number that they were to join that tier. And then they'll also get a book with a paw print on them. But we've just kind of finished painting them. So Anna was the first uh, patron to join the Rora tier. So these are the books that they're going to get. But we've got the one and the, uh, the paw print. Hang on, let me shift the focus so you can see. Oh my god, don't they look so cute? I'm like, I want to cry. This has been like three days of hard work for me and Tom to make all of these. I just really hope the patrons that received these love them because I'm really happy with how they look. They're bigger than the, the, the books I use in the game and I think they look really cool. So I'm so happy with how they look. I'm actually now in like an hour. I've got my first Patreon live reading sprint. So I'm going to read A Dowry of Blood in that. I feel like I could probably almost read this whole thing tonight. I'm definitely at least going to get halfway and then check in with you. I'm really excited. I believe this is about Dracula's brides, in particular Constanta. I believe it's about their kind of abusive relationship. I just know it's kind of gothic, dark, which I'm hoping is going to get me into like the autumnal mood that we're starting to be in. So yeah, I am so hyped to read this. I this could be a five. I've, I've got five star feelings from it. I've got five star feelings. So let's go read it and I'll, I'll tell you what I think when I'm a bit of the way through. Good morning, bitches. <laughs> I look a little bit like death. Um, I've just woken up. I'm not really awake, but I'm gonna look nice in a bit. So like, just we're just we're just gonna live with it. I am halfway through a dowry of blood, and it's really good. Oh my god! Well. <laughs> I hate her, I tell you now. I'm really loving this. So basically, this is about one of Dracula's brides. I don't think he's ever called Dracula, but it's like, it's Dracula. And it opens with her talking about how she killed him, which like, you know, death to all of them. All men, I mean. <laughs> death to all of them. Oh, Jesus. So it's talking about how, how she killed him. And then it's written in, is it second person? Like you did this, you did that. In a letter to him after she's killed him. And it's got this kind of lyrical, beautiful writing. And it's very much like talking about how 
their relationship is essentially abusive you know she's something that he owns she's something for him to own he has now brought another wife into the kind of setup after like centuries of it just being them well they've had like lovers and stuff but like this is a wife you know this is a wife he kind of like forced her consent in that and you know i think now she believes that she does have some level of consent in it but he did force her hand initially and he's just very like controlling and stuff so I think it's kind of a look at kind of the underlying abusiveness in relationships through this kind of like fantastical gothic lens I'm really enjoying the way it's written it's got this like beautiful lyrical writing that's so like deep and detailed and like fleshed out and beautiful like it's it's we all know writing is numero uno for me. It's like somewhere between a four and a five right now. The kind of second half is going to determine which one it gets. It's really complex and beautiful, but like it's a short book and I feel like it's packing a lot of meaning and depth into the pages. So I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to go read some more uh, and I'm going to go so you don't have to look at me for much longer like this. And when I return, I'll be gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> hey! look at the change so i finished a diary of blood i really really enjoyed it i'm gonna give it four stars the reason it's a four star not a five star is because we know it was going right you get told at the start where this book is going and what the climax is gonna be and i just don't think that's my favorite thing personally i do like to be surprised with my endings and you know where this book is going and like if you're gonna tell me at the start where the book is gonna go i want there to be a twist somewhat like that still happens but not in the way you expected but that didn't happen so that's why it is a four but beautiful writing beautiful dark deep writing beautiful prose cheese <laughs> beautiful beautiful dark horror this dark gothicness like i have oh it makes me so excited to read more like gothic -y books this autumn i also thought it had a really good look at abusive relationships and kind of you know the intermingling of love in abusive relationships and how it could be so hard to leave that or remove yourself from an abusive relationship when you still love that person um, and the complexity of that i also really appreciated the polyamorous polyamorous relationship polyamory <laughs> polyamor okay the polyamory rep in this i really enjoyed how all the different characters in this kind of relationship had very different dynamics with one another and how that was explored that was super interesting i can't really remember the last time i read a book with a polyamorous relationship i don't think it's something that i tend to read a lot of but it was it was so well done and all these characters had such different you know interactions with one another and i loved our main character i loved the writing of it as a letter to Dracula. It was just so interesting. It really, it really is the perfect book to read at the start of September. We know we're starting to get hyped up for spooky season in October. I feel excited for autumn in a way I never have before. Maybe it's because I'm excited to like make autumnal stuff. I feel like this was the perfect book to read in this moment right now. And it's super quick read. It literally, I took like two hours, three hours maybe to read in total. I think Riley now can't beat Kayla. If my calculations are correct, we're on 7.5. So even if Riley gets a five star with the next book, that will be 12.5 as the maximum points we could get. So Riley won't beat Kayla. However, I'm still having a lot of fun. I've still really, really enjoyed the books that I have read. We're now gonna read They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. And I am so excited. I'm really, really excited for this. All I know is about a professor who murders bad guys, basically. Like the cover of this, tell me this isn't the perfect book to read right now. Riley really said, I'm about to get you into the autumn spirit. She really said that. She really said, I'm gonna pull through Megan. I'm gonna get you into the autumn spirit. A few people have told me this is the kind of book that they like literally sat down and read in one sitting. I'm hoping that is in the future for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill out tonight, I think, and read as much of this as I can. Um, <laughs> everyone, um, holy sh- <laughs> Oh my god, the gag I just experienced, the gag, the gag, the gag, I, c I, what? <laughs> 
I could not believe it. I was not expecting a twist this dramatic to happen this early on. I'm just about halfway through the book and holy fuck, holy fuck, you guys, something crazy just happened and I'm in shock. I'm literally in shock. I, I don't feel like I can fully communicate to you how incredible this twist was because I'm so bunged up from hay fever but oh my god this was this it's so good so far so basically we are following this professor called Scarlet at this university who kills men she kills shitty men a shitty mess no girl a shitty mess basically rapists, abusers, you know, anyone like that, she kills. And she's been doing it successfully for years. But now, because she works at this university, it's often like the students or workers there. She's managed to explain some of them away as suicides. But now this kind of investigation is being opened up into the suicide. So she's panicking. We also have this storyline with Carly, who is a new freshman at the university. And it's about her like kind of moving in there and getting to know her roommates. And there's like, she's got kind of got a whole sub storyline going on. And this reads so fast. I read 80 pages in 40 minutes earlier, which is so fast for me. Usually I'm like a page, a page and a bit a minute kind of gal, like maybe a little bit faster than that, but you know, like that's it. But I am hooked. I am flying through it. It's like a fun, fast, rompy thriller. Cause the twist, that is one of my favorite twists from a thriller in a long time. My mouth fell open. I was shook. I was, I was, I was, I was so shocked. I can't, <laughs> I have not flown through a book like this, like in a long time. The writing's been really good and there's just something about it that has me flying through it. I can't quite pin my finger on it, but I'm loving it. I'm gonna go take my makeup off, get really comfy with my queen and um, finish it. I'm gonna try and finish it and I'll speak to you in the morning when I'm done but I like need to know where this is gonna go like right now. Okay, so I just finished They Never Learned by Lane Fargo and I loved it. I loved it. The storyline plots, literally, I am obsessed. I'm gonna give it five stars. I'm giving it five stars. I'm giving it five stars. I absolutely loved it. I just couldn't get over how much you rooted for the main character. Riley said when she recommended the book, you know, it has this morally grey character that you really root for, and you do, because although she's a murderer, <laughs> I think a lot of women can relate to wanting to, you know, hurt these men and put them through the pain that they've put others through. So I feel like you're really on her side. This is the fastest I've read a book, like in a long, long time. I have not read a book this fast, like blown through it in terms of like per page, minutes per page. I absolutely just tore through it. I can really see why so many people said that this is the kind of book they could read in one sitting. Cause if like circumstances had allowed and I'd sat down with this at a time when I had like a couple of hours, I would have read this in one sitting. It was so good in that sense. And um, there were so many great twists, so many twists I didn't see coming, but also a few twists which I did, but in a way that I only saw it coming a couple pages before and it made me feel good because I like it sometimes when mysteries do that like it makes you realize at the same time like a page before and you think you're really clever but you're not the author has like purposely somehow led you there really great characters i really love the way it ended the kind of climax is so dramatic and i was like literally like barely even reading the words i was like oh my god i need to know what happens oh my god no, no, no. i was so into it so i loved this i thought it was incredible and riley was not wrong that i would love this it was amazing that twist at halfway killed me like i could not believe it i could not believe it i can't believe that i actually can't believe that so if i'm right in my calculations that leaves riley on 12.5 points which is half a point behind kayla so in reality they're pretty much tied with being my booktube twins kayla only like wins by a smidgen so they're very similar in like who I look to for recommendations. I can obviously keep on looking to them for recommendations because we had, you know, a 3.5, a four and a five from Riley. So all pretty good ratings. It was just so good. I wish I could almost read this all over again because I think there's so much hidden in that first half that you don't realize until something is revealed. And it was just so good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these, um, what you thought of them. If you got into the end, comment a knife emoji for the murderess in this um, and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this vlog and 
I've run out of things to say. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.